Hey, this is Samantha here from RecipeThis.com and the voice behind the Popular Kitchen Gadgets podcast, Magic with Gadgets. Today, I wanted to show you how easy it is to cook air fryer pumpkin seeds. Well, before we dive into this recipe, I just wanted to suggest that you head over to RecipeThis.com. We've got more than 1,200 kitchen gadget recipes, including recipes for the air fryer, instant pot, slow cooker, soup maker, bread maker, microwave, ninja foodie, and many others. We also have a free weekly newsletter, which you can find on the homepage of RecipeThis.com, or you can find it on RecipeThis.com forward slash newsletter. And there you can get our best kitchen gadget recipes sent to your inbox every Friday morning. I love to rescue the pumpkin seeds from inside a pumpkin. They're absolutely delicious cooked in the air fry and they're just lovely. And they're like ones in the oven that are roasted. But of course, it's much faster cooking and you don't need as much oil to achieve uh, the perfect crunch on your seed. Even better than that, what I've also found is they last forever. So I end up with them in a little jar in the cupboard and long past pumpkin season, I'm still enjoying them. So what I recommend you do is if you're in a rush when you're carving your pumpkin and you just can't be bothered at that particular time to deal with your seeds, then simply into a Ziploc bag and then you can keep them in the fridge for a few days while you find some time to actually go through them. And then once you're ready to go through them, you need to transfer them into a bowl and then once you're in the bowl you want a few other bowls because then you can work it like a production line and it'll make it easier to separate them so i've got my blue bowl here which is what they're going to eventually be mixed with um, to be seasoned and with a little bit of extra virgin olive oil and then you've got the main bowl with your starter uh, filling from the pumpkin and then you can have one with your mess in another one with your pumpkins in and it's just so easy to separate it so I recommend you start with the bits of pumpkin that are easy to access and then what you can do is you can have it in your hand like this and then you can quickly go through them can get a bit slimy on your hands in the end because of how slippery it is there's none in there that i want now so already i'm separating those bowls and seeing a good amount of seeds going in the right one and then as i'm doing this i've also got my other air fry running and that's got some pumpkin cubes in it because i absolutely love pumpkin in the air fryer so just think if you've got two air fryers you can be roasting some pumpkin with one, seeds with the other. Oh, it's so sticky, that's sticking to me. Quite a few on this little section here. And you can see my bowl is really starting to fill up. And bearing in mind, this is all from one pumpkin. So if you think of a large pumpkin, this is what you can achieve. Let's gather up the ones that have dropped to the bottom of this bowl. That's brilliant because they're just kind of sat there and you've got quite a few there. There we go. Oh, wow, I'm getting my quick <laughs> bent over that far doing those there. Oh, I missed one there. So there you have it. So your bowl's now empty from doing one of your large pumpkins. That's, uh, that's your mess and that's also a few of the seeds uh, that are like half the size of a natural pumpkin seed so they're not going to air fry very well and that's your already done ones. So now we need to get those rinsed, get my hands sorted out and then we can toss them in some extra virgin olive oil ready for air frying. So I've used my mesh trainer to give the pumpkin seeds a good rinsing. I've still got a bit of the fleshy bits but that's only natural for when you're doing your own homemade pumpkin seeds. And then you need a tea towel or some kitchen towel. Uh, this is a clean one by the way of a false somebody out of at me. And then you're just dabbing them dry. Not completely dry but just so that they've lost quite a lot of the excess on them because otherwise the extra virgin olive oil will not stick to them and your seasonings won't stick either. So that's enough. So now you can start putting them in your bowl. Ta 
I believe how much is made just off one whole pumpkin. So I think it's amazing. And such a waste when people throw it out. You know, I've spoken to lots of British people recently about pumpkins and they've all said the same to me. They don't actually use the pumpkin at all, apart from to carve for Halloween. And that just seems such a shame because pumpkins are lovely. Though the hubby will disagree, he hates pumpkins. But I love them. Oh, and of course, uh, do search recipe this because we've got more and more pumpkin recipes for you to try. And we've also got a video coming out for instant pot pumpkin, not instant pot, sorry, soup maker pumpkin soup. It's going to be delicious. Right. So now your seeds are all done. They're ready to be seasoned and to go in the air fryer. So only a little bit of extra virgin. And then you want, oh, newly opened. Cumin, mixed spice. If you've not had mixed spice before, then it's absolutely delicious and makes food taste so good. And a little bit of sweet paprika, and then quick mix. You want that extra virgin olive oil, and you want all the seasonings. And then I'm just going to lay my hands a quick wipe and then we can get it air frying. Now up your air fry basket and load in all your pumpkin seeds. Now spread them out best you can because you don't want them sticking together and you want a very good even cook on them. That looks pretty good there. So then... Place them in, 180 Celsius, that's 360 Fahrenheit, and a cook time of just five minutes, and then press start. And we've beeped. Oh wow, these are looking fabulous. Wow, I can't believe how good these look. And they're so crispy as well. I'll look at some of them here. If you want them more crispy than this, what you can actually do, oh dear, I thought the lid was back on that, I dropped it earlier. Right, there we go. Let's give them a um, quick spray. Put it back on. And then put the temp up to 200 Celsius, that's 400 Fahrenheit, and just add another uh, three minutes. And we've beat. Oh wow. Now oh, that's even crispier. That is like crisps, honestly. You can hear the sound of it there. You can hear how crispy they are. And look, a wonderful equal crisp on them. So much easier than doing them in the oven. And something that most of us just waste, so why not just make use of it uh, next time you have a pumpkin that you're carving? So the pumpkin seeds have had long enough to cool down so that they are touchable without me burning myself. You just taste the crisp on that. Oh, I can see why Sophia's obsessed with these. You can't just have one. They're so good. And remember, you can mix and match seasonings. You don't have to have the same as what we've had. It's just perfect for an easy snack in the air fryer. Thanks so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe to the Recipe This family. You can find us on Twitter, Facebook and Pinterest. We also have a weekly newsletter at recipethis.com forward slash newsletter where we share with you our latest kitchen gadget recipes, what we're cooking in the Milner kitchen and so much more. As well as this, we recommend that you subscribe to our YouTube channel and then whenever we have a new video, you will be the first to know. And if you want to know about all our future videos, then I recommend you hit the bell for instant notifications. But even better, we now have a podcast. It's called Magic with Gadgets. Simply search Magic with Gadgets on your favourite podcast player and you'll find us there. 